Now take a look at the topic matrix. Lovely one. My name is Anthony Osement, uh, popularly referred to as Sir Tony, the mathematics doctor from A plus lesson. In this particular lesson, you will learn how to use the scientific calculator to solve questions under matrix, especially how to find the final answer when it comes to questions under matrix. Now, in this chapter, let us take a look at the addition and the subtraction of matrices. Let's take some questions and the addition and subtraction of matrices. Example number one. The matrices A and B are given by A is equal to 2, 6, 4, 8. And B is equal to 3, negative 5, negative 7, 9. Find a plus b let us now see how to use a calculator to solve such a question to solve a matrix with a calculator you first of all have to identify the nature of the matrix now this question is a matrix and we are asked to add the two matrices in the question that is matrix a plus matrix b now this matrix is a square matrix which is a two by two matrix and it's a two by two matrix because there are two columns and two rows when it comes to both matrix A and matrix B. The columns are 2, 4, 6, 8. And the rows are 2, 6, 4, 8. That is to say, the columns are the numbers arranged from the top to down. And then the rows are the numbers arranged from the left to right. So each number in the matrix is referred to as an element. Now let's go ahead and add this matrix using the calculator. To add matrix using the calculator, first of all, you need to put the mode of the calculator into the matrix mode. That is switch the mode into matrix. So you press the mode key. Then you press number six or option number six. That is matrix. So press option number six, the key number six. Now you realize that you get three different options after you've pressed it. Now, which of the matrix do you want? I want matrix A. I want to label my matrix A in the question as matrix A on the calculator. So press 1. So I press 1. Now, what is the nature of the matrix A? We have six different ways of the matrix. Is it a 2 by 2 or a 3 by 3 or a 3 by 1 or a 2 by 1 matrix? Now, if you check the question, it is a 2 by 2 square matrix. So we choose 2 by 2, which is as option number 5. So take number 5. It means that there are two rows and two columns or two columns and two rows. That's the meaning. Now, it has displayed the matrix itself on the calculator and the boxes. So, we have to input the matrix in the boxes. We have the matrix A as 2, 6. So, press 2. You press equal sign and then you press 6. You press equal sign. The other element of matrix A is 4, 8. So, press 4. Press equal sign. You press 8. Then you press equal sign. Now that we've input matrix A as 2, 6, 4, 8, we'll go ahead and keep it in the memory of the calculator. So, let's save this particular data. So we save the data by pressing shift and then we press number four, which has a matrix written against it. So the matrix is written on top of the key number four. So you can see it clear. So press the key number four. Now you get two options, DIM, that is DIM and data. I want the data. So select option number two on my screen. It is two. So press the key number two. When you press two, you have now given yourself options to choose. One is matrix A, two is matrix B, and C is for option three, matrix C. Now, I want matrix A. I'll label it by matrix A, so I choose one. Now, when you are done, you will now go and input the matrix B. You can press the on key or you can press shift, and then you press the number four, which is the matrix key. Then you choose the number one, DIM. We want to input matrix B, so choose number two. So press the key number two to choose matrix B. What is the nature of the element of matrix B? The matrix B is also a square matrix with two columns and two rows. So it is a two by two matrix. So let's go ahead and choose option number five. So press key number five representing two by two. So press five. Now you see that the two by two matrix is on the screen of the calculator. Now input the numbers in the boxes shown. Now we have three, press three, press equal sign. We have negative five, press minus five, press equal sign. We have minus seven, press minus seven, press equal sign. And then we have nine, press nine and press equal sign. We've input matrix B nicely on the calculator. Now let's save it in the memory of the calculator. So we press the shift key. 
that we press the number four, which has the matrix on top. So press the number four key. Now select data. And on my screen, the data is at option number two. So press option number two. Then select matrix B to label your matrix. Label it with matrix B. So I select option number two. So I select two. Now I press the AC to show that I have stored it or I've kept it in the memory of the calculator. Now I've been asked to add matrix A to matrix B. So let's go ahead and do that. You do that by pressing the shift key. Then you select number four, which is the matrix option. So press the key number four. Now you go to matrix A, which is number three. It is option number three on my screen. So go to matrix A. So press key number three. We are adding. So press the addition sign. So I press the addition sign and then matrix B. Then I press still the shift key and then I press option number four, which is the matrix option. So press number four. Select matrix B. Matrix B on my screen is at option number four. So press the number four key. Then it becomes matrix A plus matrix B displayed on your screen. So that is what we are looking for. Matrix A plus matrix B. So I can press the equal sign because matrix A plus matrix B is the right way I want. So I press the equal sign. So I get 5, 1, negative 3, 17. So matrix A plus B is equal to 5, 1, negative 3, 17. So this is how you write the final answer. You write it as matrix A plus matrix B is equal to, that is, we have 5, 1, negative 3, and then 17. So that is the final answer. Matrix A plus matrix B is 5, 1, negative 3, 17. That's the final answer for this R matrix. Thank you very much and God bless you.